Hey, where you guys go? Get back here. We ain't done yet. Then caught you loafing. Caught you loafing. Anyway, got to say it. You went over to Grandpa's house, man. You drank hot slits. Slits malt liquor, man. <laughs> or false staff. And uh, drank it on the back porch. Off the back porch, man. I guess it'd be cold in the, in the winter time. But, <laughs> but slits, man, that's bad enough. And the drinking hot. Uh -huh. His name was Bert. Okay, this parrot was cool, man. It'd say anything. And just a cool bird. You know, us kids, or my grandma could handle it, you know. And we'd had it like a puppy dog almost. And, but he hated men, especially when they was drunk. Them guys get over there all drunk, try to pick that bird up. <laughs> and you know, that bird was that, that bird was funny. It would act like you know it wanted to pick him up, and uh, he'd walk towards him, and they'd put their finger down there, and man, that bird would latch on, and uh, blood be everywhere. Oh, it was funny. You know, then that bird, that bird would make that laughing sound. You know, <laughs> like it was laughing. I know it was. <laughs> Five minutes, 29 seconds left. You want to do this? I got to put my piece of aluminum on that wood and drill my lightning holes. Then I can glue this one together. this 
wide enough for that illusion too. tough old wing man we're gonna be digging them out of the ground and using them on airplane number two <laughs> Flights on it and everything's good, everything seems stable, no flutters at high speed, nothing like that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go down at the end upwind. You know, go straight into the wind, pull it vertical, almost out of sight. When we get way up there, we're going to roll it over to a split S. We're going to make that split S kind of a looping one, not in a straight dive. Then we're going to come down. I'm going to level it off about six foot off the deck, downwind for the photo op pass at full speed into the runway. We're going to go into the pylon turn. <laughs> and if it lives through that pylon turn, this airplane's good to go. <laughs> I can do it with the 16 deck going. I haven't really pulled a super, super tight pylon turn, but I can pull it pretty tight and it looks good. Then she gets the stamp of approval. Right? Said he's going to be there. He said, I better not go fly without telling him. <laughs> so I'm going to go tell Marky Boo. Okay, I'm going to move this out. I'm going to move this probably, oh, a fat eighth farther away. Give myself a little room. And uh, I don't have to cut my skins that short. I don't want a little room right there. Then I can just put a shim where I'm going to put my pin. I'm going to double a piece of a quarter inch ply back here and epoxy it in there real good. And that dude will go nowheres, nowheres at all. 